what's happening everyone uh we have now hit group d the final group in the women's euros 2022 now the teams in group d are france italy belgium and iceland uh, so this insight is going to give us a bit more information regarding iceland now this is the fourth straight tournament they have made and they're slowly building a talented tight-knitted uh, squad uh, how they qualified they qualified as group f runners up uh, played eight won six lost one and drew one scored 25 conceded five uh, previous euro best is the quarterfinals in 2013 and unfortunately for them they got knocked out in the group stages of the last tournament in 2017 now their key player is sarah bjork ganadotte the lay midfielder went on maternity leave in March 2021 and had a baby in November but has returned to action to ensure Iceland will have their captain and most capped player available in England. She's first woman to twice be named Icelandic Sports Person of the Year in 2018 and in 2020. Her technical and attacking prowess have already taken her and Iceland to three past women's Euros as well as huge club success another one to watch Svendis Jane John Stottir now John Stottir was playing in Iceland's second tier age 14 soon scoring prolifically um, it was the same story at international level where at 19 she scored within 8 minutes of her debut in September 2020 not long before Wolfsburg snapped her up she also possesses a dangerous long throw, so that's obviously going to be a, a weapon that will be utilised during the tournament. Tournament. Now, coach Thornstein Haller Dawson. So when Hal Dawson was appointed, appointed as the, at the start of 2021, he brought a huge amount of experience in the female and male club games and won three women's titles with Bradblick between 2014 and 2020. Among highlights of his early games in charge was a 2-0 win against Japan and Japan are a very very strong side. Tactically, Iceland will line up in a 4-3-3 formation and under the succession of coaches have usually been a difficult team to break down with a squad of players displaying natural understanding. They are also dangerous from set pieces and Gunnar return will add that experience and creativity as well. Now regarding their pedigree, um, Iceland have made an early impact when they reached the two-legged women's Euro in 1995 quarterfinals, losing to England, made the playoffs in 97 and also in 20 in 2005, but it still raised eyebrows when they qualified in 2009, the first time their nation had reached a major senior tournament for men or women, drawing huge audiences at home on TV, which is great to see. And they've had every Euro, they've made every Euro since then actually, um, even holding Norway and beating the Netherlands to reach the 2013 quarter final. And it will be now a shock for them to miss out on qualifying. So obviously now we've got the qualifying starting for the Women's World Cup. We should expect Iceland to be there or thereabouts. So yeah, as per usual, smash the like button, share the stream, subscribe if you're new. And keep checking in with these insights as we draw closer to the Women's Euros 2022 tournament. Peace.